Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. What we're going to do is go over how you feel about the person that you're coming to the reading for. We're going to ask how they feel about you, get some advice and an outcome. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. How does Aries feel about their person? Aries, all links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, book your own personal reading. All right, so you feel like this one to show its face four of wands so that's kind of that's your energy could be dealing with um venus and cancer aries like yourself um four of wands so you feel stable you feel like there will be reunion there'll be a coming back together how does aries feel about their person the five of swords okay so You feel like maybe this person is them wanting to reunion, have a reunion with you or come back to you. It was all out of self-interest, like for them to get what they wanted, whatever this might be. It's like, and to then leave you defeated because this isn't a give and take. This is just a take with the five of swords. So you can feel like um, maybe this person is married or in a traditional relationship or they're conditioned to doing this to people or engaging with so many different women. The four of wands to me, it, it always says group of women. So maybe um, this person has a lot of women that they do this to, that they engage with, that they, you know, circle around to, or that they revolve around or um, rotate in and out of their life. You feel like you, um, you were trying to make some order out of this chaos. You feel like they just want things to be how it always was, the status quo with the Hierophant. If it was always friends with benefits and it was always in and out and, you know, coming and having a little fun and then leaving, then you feel like that's how it's going to be and this is how this person wants it. They don't want anything else, okay? Yeah, you feel like um, something is unchanging. It's not changing. How does this person feel about Aries? Um, the sun card. So they feel like, you know, it's a fun, carefree connection. You're a lot of fun. Uh, you're a ball of fun. You're um, a, brush, a, a breath of fresh air. Um, you're a getaway, a vacation away. Um, you guys could live away from one another, uh, far apart. Um, they could feel like you're younger than them. You bring out the childlike energy spirit within them, or you have this childlike energy about yourself again you're fun to be around um how's this person feel about aries you have the magician um you say maybe funny things or you know how to use your words um everything about you is the sex is good okay um the magician here they feel like you're in the background like you get a lot done too you have an idea and you bring it into fruition um, you make things happen. You're resourceful too. They like having you around or they like having you in their life because you are a resource of, I don't know, knowledge, um, labor. I don't know. Whatever it is you, you bring to the table, um, they find use for it or they will find use for it. Um, they feel like you're skilled at whatever you do, whatever work you do. Um, they feel like you could be the one, but you're in the background. What is the advice for Aries? What is the advice for Aries? The three of cups. Um, do know that this is the initial stages of creation and maybe you'll always be creating with this person. Um, with the three of cups, you got reunion and reconciliation. I don't know. Let's see. Let me clarify the three of cups here. Clarify the three of cups. What is the advice? Why is, communicate how you're feeling you know, communicate how you're feeling and you're thinking. Yeah, two of pentacles because, you, you, you know, you're not the only person here in this equation. And a lot is going on for you and a lot is going on around this person also. And this is why they keep everything up in the air and they're okay with juggling. Um, that is the advice here. They found solace. They found um, 
that it's this is their life you know they've come into some rhythm of maybe going back which going backwards and forwards you know back back to you then forward home i don't know this person is acting do keep in mind that they're acting you know yeah the five of pentacles um is you know very little confidence in this moving forward moving out of a love affair type situation here what is the out what is the outcome if aries takes the advice of the cards if aries takes the advice of the cards what is the outcome if aries the six of wands yeah you can just leave move on um it actually says um so this is you choosing yourself, choosing uh, to go in a new direction, choosing peace, harmony, and balance in another direction because you, you're resting on your principles and your morals. You're not getting down in the dirt. You're not fighting for something. This, in the five of wands, you're, you're fighting for what you want, but you don't even know what you're gonna get. And it might just be more drama more of a love affair versus something that is um solid and stable it'll still be instability so you'll get it but it'll be you know unstable so you're deciding to be the six of wands and move on strutting your stuff walking off they gotta watch you do this they gotta watch you prosper you get the victory you get the laurel wreath here because you chose not to engage yeah six of pentacles you chose you took your power back because the six of pentacles talks about a power dynamic so like this person felt like they had the power because you were always waiting for them they have you know they were in control of the narrative of the of the relationship we do this we go here we do that i'll, and I'll call you don't call me i'll text you you know you took your power back. You're no longer waiting for that or you're no longer engaging in that. So now it's like the power has now shifted from you being the beggar waiting for a little piece of energy, a little piece of something um, to now not waiting at all. And now they're, they're in the waiting and now you're the giver and you can choose to give or not. So that's how you, you shift a power dynamic. Um, let's see what the hidden element is here for Aries dealing with this person. What is the hidden element? Right, the hidden element. All right, let's see. All right, what is the hidden element in this relationship? Heavenly signs. So, like, you were seeing synchronicities in terms of numbers, feathers, butterflies, certain color, her color coordination, conversations, words. Something was showing you that, you know, it was time for you to take the next step away from this relationship. This is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.